I was really inspired by the Calex lamps, the LED lamps that look like a standard glass globe lamp but have LEDs inside them. So I thought I'd like to make something like that myself and the nearest I could come to, I, I did try cutting the tops off glass lamps that just didn't go very well at all. It involved lots of blood, but not to worry. Uh, plastic bottles and lamp holders can make an interesting little globe for um, your own homemade LED lamp. So here's the plan. Um, a base, two resistors to limit the current, it's the absolute simplest possible design, a bridge rectifier and a string of LEDs. Now, the actual schematic for this will be the two current limiting resistors. Now, in the UK or, and Europe on 230, 240 volt, for one milliamp, uh, will we use two 100 kilo ohm resistors, just standard quarter watt resistors because the dissipation is going to be very low. But in America, where you've got this whole circuit is much more efficient in America because you're actually dissipating less across the resistors. Um, so in America, you can use just 18 kilo ohm resistors, that's 18,000 ohms for each of these resistors, and you can actually pass two milliamps through the LEDs, which will make them a lot brighter, but the overall power dissipation will be the same. It will be typically about quarter of a watt which is really low. This isn't a, a light bulb to illuminate um, your your house with. It's a sort of light bulb to um, just for decoration or as a night light. So here is, um, here's how I'm going to make the bridge rectifier. I'm going to use uh, four diodes, uh, 41N4007 diodes. You could use 1N4148 um, signal diodes because the current's very low. And technically speaking, the voltage across them isn't going to be super high um, because the current's going to be limited and the, it's going to see what's across the LEDs. But um, if LED, an LED went open circuit, it would exceed the peak inverse voltage, which is the highest voltage you can run the LED the uh, diode in reverse. So the 1N4148 isn't such a good idea. So um, this is the standard uh, configuration for a bridge rectifier. Uh, those of you who are electronically inclined will know it already. Basically speaking, four diodes in a square. All the diodes point towards the positive, so they're pointing away from the negative towards the positive, and the AC is applied in the middle of that arrangement. And this equates to this arrangement where the bands and the LEDs all point towards the positive terminal. So, to start off with, I'm going to uh, twist two LEDs together with the, the band end. So this is going to be the positive connection and I'm going to get two and I'm going to twist the opposite end of the band and that's going to be the negative connection. I think I might just put a dab of solder on those right now just to keep them together. So a wee blob of solder. There we go. So that's a negative soldered and that's the positive soldered. And now I'm going to part the diodes like that and then I'm going to twist them together like this with uh, uh, one positive and one negative from each side and these this is going to be an AC input so that goes there and that goes there and more solder Excuse the loud ringing noise. I've got a, a standard Antex soldering uh, iron holder here. My preference at the moment is for the Antex soldering iron, but I think I may be switching to the, the thermostatically controlled irons in the relatively near future. So I'm going to crop these. And remember, you can tell which is the positive terminals by the fact that all the bands point towards a positive. So in this case, this is the positive here and this is the negative. So now I'm going to get my two resistors. Actually, I'm going to fold this a wee bit because I want to point, say, point this down the way and point them up the way because this will make it look just a little bit neater. And I'm going to solder one of the resistors to the AC input. This is where it gets a little bit footery. Oh, very footery, in fact. I shall uh, just tin the resistor first. Put a wee blob of solder on it. And then apply 
apply it to one of the AC connections. There we go. And get the other resistor. Tin it. Apply it to the other connection. A bit easier to hold now. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much the power supply done. I, I think you'll admit that's pretty. I think you'll agree that's pretty simple. Now, the string of LEDs, this is just a random selection of LEDs, uh, colours, cold white, warm white, uh, and a run random red, green, and blue at the end. And I've cracked the ice in these LEDs. I've got another video showing that. It's basically where you take a standard 5mm LED and you take a pair of snips and you crack the end off the LED, which is just solid resin. As long as you don't go too near the, the chip itself, uh, you're not going to break the wire inside. And that makes these LEDs much more visible, a much wider viewing angle. So now I'm going to solder these. Uh, let's see, this is the positive one. So I'm going to solder it to the positive output, the bridge rectifier. I'd like to say I've not obviously had a chance to test this. So that was pre-tinned, so that's it soldered on there. So this may go horribly wrong, which always makes good viewing. Um, and that's the negative, going to the negative of a bridge rectifier. And I'll just flow that. And that is just ready to hook across the main. So. I shall get my base, I shall put the two tails into the base. Now this is a bayonet cap lamp holder, because that's what we use in the UK. And I'm kind of tempted to stick this up quite a bit because I want the components to be seen because I think they're quite attractive uh, when they're visible in the lamp. But uh, having said that, I don't want to compromise in the amount of space uh, I have for the LEDs inside the lamp because I'm gonna, obviously going to have to mush them up as it is. So I'm just going to flow a bit of solder onto that terminal. We use bayonet cap in the UK. I'm not sure why our lamp holders are mainly bayonet cap. It's just a traditional thing in the same way that in America your lamp holders are traditionally Edison screw. I'm not sure how that's standardised out like that. Um, I'm just going to try and centre that up roughly and flow the other solder connection. I'm probably completely off camera at the moment, but hey, not to worry. Okay, that looks pretty good. I could uh, tempt fate by just flooding a little bit more solder on this one just to make these pads just a wee bit thicker. Okay, now where's my electronic snips there? So I can get these flush. there we have something that is theoretically going to light up and we stick it into the mains. Or it might go bang. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine. So now all we have to do is squish these LEDs, and this is quite tricky, into this. And it doesn't matter if they short out against each other because as long as the resistors are limiting the current, uh, they're rated well enough that it's not going to cause an issue if they short out in here. Uh, so that's good enough, actually. So, um... Let's plug it into the mains and try it out. Now, it's not going to be super bright because um, it is a low-level lighting effect. So, I've got a lamp holder here and I'll plug it in and I shall... Uh, the cap's not staying on, I'd have to glue it on, obviously. Um, and I'm going to turn the power on now. Oh, look at that. That's actually not too bad, is it? It's a mixture of cold uh, white, warm white, and some coloured ones at the end. And the power dissipation. I mean, it actually looks a lot brighter on the camera than it is in real life, um, he said very honestly. But it's still bright, and at night time, that's going to look fantastic. It's just a mishmash of little dots of light in this bottle. Um, yeah, I like that. And the power dissipation is a staggering quarter watt. So you can't really complain about that, can you? No. Uh, that could just get glued um, on, and that's more or less it. Yeah, I might shuffle about the lights inside this, although I might just leave them as they are, because it looks all right. Yep, that was a successful project. I have my LED lamp.